Good evening, everybody. A little technical difficulties again tonight with our Mevo camera. I think Bill's are ready to throw this thing right out into the garbage. Anyways, uh, welcome to Night of Readings. I am on my cell phone. I do want you to know that I probably will not read what's happening. Jackie on the other end of the line, she does read what's happening. So uh, do uh, chime in and uh, talk uh, amongst each other and uh, we will do what we always do. And that is to just do a night of readings and answer the phone. Uh, Bill is here, but I'm not sure that he's gonna be able to get in on the camera because of our technical difficulties. So anyways, remember if you have a question, you are to call 602-875-0. 444. And as usual, I have done my meditation and I have gotten a few interesting things. Uh, the name Bruce and Chloe, Jeremy and Albert, something about Tennessee, and a Franny or a Fanny, something about a train, uh, something about a mule. And that's kind of weird, a don't mule? you think, Bill? Yeah, I saw a mule mm -hmm. in my meditation. Maybe it was you being stubborn about trying to get that meeble started well. Everybody was waiting for us to get on. So <laughs> a Kyle or a Kylie, uh, something about pest control. Uh, yeah, I saw pest control um, oh, wow. truck. Um, and uh, something with Princeton, a uh, Hawaii, a uh, Diane, a uh, Tammy, a uh, Carl, a uh, Harold or a uh, Harry, an uh, Agnes, a uh, Todd, a uh, Lee or a uh, Lisa and a uh, Carol. So McKinnon is on the phone. Elliot is in the studio looking bored because he doesn't like to watch grandma work. And Bill is next to me at the desk, and we're sorry about the Mevo. So, uh, without further ado, I will take my first caller tonight. Okie dokie, here we go, everybody. Let's have a good time. Let's get a lot of readings in here. Let's hold space for those that I have on the phone. Good evening, this is Melinda. How can I help you? Um, yes, I want to see if I could go ahead and, um, if it's possible to connect with my daughter or my dad. Ah, I'm sorry that you lost your daughter, sweetheart. Um, oh, I, thank you. Um, that was very difficult. What is your name, honey? My name is Stephanie. Garcia. Garcia. We have a very dear friend yes. with the last name of Garcia. And Stephanie, what is your birth date, please? November 28th, 1989. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and um, was your, your daughter a baby, honey? Um, or well, a yes. young child, a baby she under? Four years old. She was how old, sweetheart? Yes. Four. She was four. She was a baby. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, um, Connecting into her, first of all, Stephanie, um, whenever I say this to someone who's lost a baby this age, it feels very uh, shallow and inappropriate. But nonetheless, it is what I get. Whenever a child of this age leaves the planet, they have done so because they are trying to teach others um, something about uh, understanding how energy works on the planet. And this child was like an angel on the planet, wasn't she? Oh my gosh. Um, yes, looking at her, after she passed, I was um, paying attention to her life. Mm -hmm. And it was really crazy um, how much people were into her. Yeah, she sense. has these really beautiful eyes when I look at her. Um, really pretty, like deep, um, almost um, uh, hypnotizing eyes. Does that make sense, Steph? Yes. Okay, so she's looking into my eyes and I'm looking into hers and she's wrapping her arms around your neck, like she ha wrapping her arms around your neck. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hopping up and wrapping her arms around your neck. Does that make yes. sense, sweetheart? Okay. And then I'm seeing yes. a lot of butterflies. I'm seeing a lot of butterflies. Do you know what the butterflies mean? Um, no, I don't actually. Okay, do you see? I know she, she liked a lot of different things. Um, mm -hmm. So it's butterflies. Mm -hmm. Did you do you see butterflies sometimes, Steph? Um, I don't 
I, I do, yes. Okay, because I think when you're seeing the butterflies, it's kind of that um, connection to her from the other side, letting you know that she's safe and well, okay? Um, there's something okay. about a panda bear. Panda bear. Like, uh, she's showing me like Kung Fu Panda. You know, like that movie, that Kung Fu, Fu Panda movie? Okay. Uh, does, uh, does one of the other children or something um, uh, uh, play with, watch that? Or is that a favorite of somebody's or, or something? Kung Fu Panda. Um, no, but if I can think of a bear, mm -hmm. I would... I would say Mr. Polar Bear, which was her brother's little bear that uh, they both used to uh, oh. um, play with. Okay, okay, very good. She's showing me that to show me a bear. Okay, very good. I knew she was showing me that like that. I'm a grandmother, so, you know, it's easy for th that kind of stuff to get put into my head. So that's why she showed me it's a bear. Okay, she's showing me that. Okay, and so how old is her brother? He's eight. Um, and uh, she's kind of like his guardian angel. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Okay. And, honey, do you know who Alex or Alexis or Lexi or Alexandra or so, uh, that name is? Alex? That was her middle name. Ah, she's giving me her middle her name. Middle name her okay. middle name is Alexandria, and so is mine. Ah. I gave her my middle name. Okay, very good. So she's showing me that you share a name, okay? She's giving me your shared name. Good for her. Okay. And who is Naomi? Oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's my sister. It was her godmother. She, that's her godmother. Okay. So um, she, she's, she's, uh, she's really... Um, Oh, and, and uh, uh, is there something about her uh, little, like, little shoes, like, something with her shoes? Uh, did she like, sh at four years old, did she like shoes? Oh, my gosh, yes. She oh. loved um, shoes of all kinds. Okay. Of shoes. <laughs> uh, she was, uh, she was in very much into clothes, shoes, purses. Okay, all yeah. right, very good. All right, sweetheart. So, Stephanie, uh, so the, the, the butterfly, the bear, the middle name shared, uh, the shoes, she just wants you to know that you learned what you were supposed to learn from her. <sighs> She says that you, okay. that the spirit of your daughter is sharing with me the grace in which you handle yourself and how many people have gotten a lesson of uh, grace and respect and love from you. Okay. Do you understand okay. what I mean, honey? Uh, yes, does she, I, I don't know if she, she um, told, or she, or if you know how she passed? Did she, she tell you that, or? She's just showing me something with her chest. With her chest. Yeah. Did she have a breathing issue or something at the end, honey? Mm, oh, it was a, it was an accident. She writes accident right here. The accident was ri written right here, so I'm going to circle that, and I'll, I'm going to hold it up to the camera so you can see it, babe. When you look back at the, um, when you look back at this, you'll see that accident was written before you said it. But she's showing me something with her chest, so I don't know whether in the accident that was how her, if her breath just left her, and that's what she's showing me, so that you know that she didn't have oh. any, any suffering or something. You know, she's showing me that. Okay. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want to know. Yes. Okay. So she Does went she like. Blame me for it. Oh no, baby, not at all. She didn't even mention the accident on her chest at all until you asked me, and so that's the only reason she mentions it. I don't want you blaming yourself, and neither does she, honey. <sighs> okay. Stephanie. <laughs> take a deep breath for me, baby. Yeah. Stephanie, you're a lovely, wonderful young woman. You're a great mother. Your daughter left the planet because it was her time, regardless. And I want you to know that she is a guardian angel to her brother. And I love that she gave me the shared middle name between you and her. She's doing just fine. It was not your fault, Stephanie, okay? Um, it's because... <laughs> Oh, well, we, the reason how she passed, that's why I'm saying is because 
And the reason why I feel so guilty, um, I backed up my car and I hit her and that's how she died. I understand, honey. But honey, those, it was an accident. That's why it's called an accident, Steph. Okay? <sighs> That's why it's called an accident, baby. Please don't suffer with this for the rest of your life. I miss her so much. I hope she knows that. Give me a tissue. I'm sure you do miss her, honey, but please don't suffer with this for the rest of your life. Your child is fine. There's no way I could have known this. Okay? Okay. Okay, and God loves you, and Bill and I are always here for you. I'm always here for you, young lady. Where are you calling me from? El Paso, Texas. Ah, oh, El Paso, okay. Listen to me, Steph. If you get anything out of this at all, I want you to understand completely that there are agreements between contracts, between spirit agreements on how people are gonna teach each other, and there's no such thing as death. There's life after life, and your daughter is simply fine, and there is absolutely no energy whatsoever on this accident from her. All she is is just love and light, and it's love and light for you. Okay, Steph? Thank you. Is she, is she with my dad? Uh, did she, dad's name, please. Did dad's sorry? Na dad's name, please. His name is Guillermo Garcia. They, they called him Willie. They called him Willie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I not only think that they're together, but I think probably your father was the the hand that reached for her when her spirit left. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. And um, I I want you to know that your dad is very proud of you, and he's telling me that he has some regrets about his fathering when he was on the planet. Do you understand what he's saying? That he had some uh, as a father. Yes, he's telling me that he didn't always tell you how much he loved you and he wasn't always there um, as oh. he should have been. And he wants you to know he was there for you that day and he will be there for you for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay. Now I want, I want you to... I just hope that they both know they, that I love them very much. They both know that you love them very much. And I want you to take good care of that little boy of yours and try to move in a direction of honor that your spirit and your daughter's spirit uh, are doing something to teach others about uh, living after a tragedy with grace and honor and know that your your daughter comes to me with huge light and that your father comes to me with great humility. Okay, sweetheart? Thank you so much. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you for calling, honey. Thank you. Take care Bye -bye. of yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry about that. You guys have watched me for a long time, and you know I don't often cry. But that is quite a tragic story, and it, her daughter was very beautiful in coming to me, and it was it was great that we were able to make that connection. Yes. So I'm going to take a deep breath, take a sip of water, and we'll take the next caller. Go ahead, McKinnon. <clears throat> Good evening, this is Melinda, how can I help you? Hi Melinda, my name is Donna, and I just wondered if you could um, bring any messages for me tonight. And I thank you so much for all you do. Oh, well I thank you Donna for honoring that. Um, let me see here, um, who is it on the other side Donna honey that, um, who's the female on the other side? Females? Yeah, were you um, close, I, close, close? I, it, it feels like a mother figure of some kind. Uh, is it your mom or is it your grandma? It'd probably be my grandmother. Okay. And, um, and then you've got also a dad on the other side, sweetheart? No. Okay, I then Both I got... My parents are living. Okay, then I got grandma and grandpa here, okay? All right. Um, okay. Which, which one had the issue with chest, heart, lungs? Uh, well, my my grandfather on my mom's side had some heart issues. I don't know about the lungs, but he had heart issues. Do you have heart issues? What is the crystal energy? Crystal, crystal. Who's crystal? Who's Chris or crystal? I 
Hello? My last name is Crystal. Your last name is Crystal. Is this Grandma and Grandpa Crystal that I have here? Nope. It's on the other side. Hmm. You mean it's on your mom's side that I've got them. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's not. Those, yeah, the, that would be on my mom's side. That's on my Grandpa. That's on your mom's side. Okay, so I think I'm getting a couple of different things on side. Somebody just said crystal, crystal to me. So, and who has the son? Do you have a brother or there's something with a son or do you have a son? Yes, yeah, I do have a son. Okay, and are you concerned with your son for some reason? Oh, yes. Okay, yes. all right. Uh -huh. I think that your grandparents are good guides to you or good guardian angels to you, even though I don't think you were as close to them as maybe something on the other side or they may have been, been gone for a while. What's your birth date, Donna? It's um, September 26th. Year? Oh, 56. Okay, babe, so you're a couple years younger than I am. So by the time we're our age, our grandparents have been gone for quite a while. Uh -huh. So, um, is one of your parents having some health issues? Uh, well, my mom um, has been for a while, yes. Okay, so I'm going to go over mom's health. I want to talk to you about your son, but I'm going to tell you that's why mom's parents are here, because there's something with her health, okay? Okay, so okay. first and foremost, I want to know what your kid's name is, your son. Joshua. Very good, and what's his birthday? Four twenty-eight eighty-two. Oh, I got kids that age, girlfriend. Okay, four, six, fourteen, twenty-four, twenty-six, thirty-four, seven. Josh has um, got uh, um, an interesting energy when I tap into him, Donna. He, he's a very old soul, um, but he doesn't always step up to the plate. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, he is an old soul, for yeah. sure. But he doesn't always step up to the plate and and honor his gifts or give give him uh, himself enough of an opportunity or something. Does that make sense to you, Donna? Yeah. Like, they're, like, yeah. he, like, he's such a good kid, but he just doesn't embrace himself totally. He just doesn't, like, step into it. I don't know how else to explain it, but I think you know what I mean. It Yes, I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I don't think it's a forever. I, I want you to know, I don't think it's forever. I think he will start embracing himself, but there's something around his 12th or 13th year. Do you know when he was individuating if there was a trauma or a problem? And why does he have father issues? Because his father is, he was quite abusive, and um, he lived with his dad until about 12 um well, we had joint custody, and I took him around 12. Mm -hmm. Then he lived with his stepfather, so... Yeah, yeah. Have okay, so that explains that, babe. Okay, and do you know who Robert is, Bob? Robert. Robert. Um, Robert, Robert would be my, my uncle. An uh, uncle. Would be one of... Well, yeah, he would be an uncle, Bob... On my mom's side, it'd be my grandfather's brother. Oh, your grandfather is the one that's chatting with me, darling. Sorry, he keeps throwing stuff into my I brain. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. okay, he's a nice guy. He's actually a sweetheart, okay? But he, you know, I think he's the one that spends a lot of time in Josh's energy field, too, by the way, um, giving Josh some, some, you know, I don't know, love, okay? And, and here's, one, here's another one for you. There's a Brian or a Ryan. Ryan or Ryan? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I think it's in Josh's energy field, Donna. Uh, does, he, does he have a friend named Ryan? And by the way, who's the alcoholic or somebody that has depression or drug issues? Um, alcoholic. Well, my son has depression issues right now, mm -hmm. um, but he's not an alcoholic. Um, and I think um, he's he's um, kind of got into some drugs too, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I'm going to say he probably did, Donna, and alcohol and depression and drugs all feel like the same energy, so I think that that's what he's struggling with, and it may be that there's a Ryan in his energy field that you don't know, but I do think Josh is going to pull out of it, but if I were counseling Josh, I would go back to around his 12th or 13th year in his individuation stage and figure out why, for whatever reason, he has some guilt 
where his father is concerned. And I don't understand that because I think that his father was a jackass. But that's how he, he seems to feel in his, and, and you know, that's what, that's what your son is wrestling with, okay? Okay, now, who's having the blood sugar issues, either hypoglycemic or diabetic or something with blood sugar issues? And who's feeling a little faint or dizzy or having some of that stuff? Is that your mama? Well, uh, my mom has, um, she's got arthritis, um, rheumatoid arthritis really bad. And they thought she had diabetes, but um, her mother had diabetes. Oh, it's grandma that had it then. Okay, and I just wrote the word auto. I'm going to hold that up to the... I'm going to hold that up to the camera so you, when you look back at it, you can see I wrote autoimmune for your mother, which is, of course, arthritis. How old is she? She's 83. Okay. Um, what's her name? Geraldine. Oh, okay. So in my meditation, um, I don't know if you've watched the show before, Donna, but every night before I get started, I meditate. And the name Jerry was on one of my meditations, okay? All right. So, and what is your grandpa's name? Uh, John. Okay, and what is Grandma's name? Irene. Okay. All right, so even though, uh, did they call her Jerry, Geraldine? Yes, um, she goes by Jerry all the time. Yeah, because I have it written as Jerry on my page. But even though Jerry is older and suffering from the autoimmune, I don't think she's bouncing off the planet anywhere anytime soon. But I do think that she... Um, is kind of starting her spirits kind of wearing down okay and there's a pat yeah. a patty a patricia a patrick do you know who pat patty patricia patrick is i know who pat is patrick yeah now pat. who who is that darling he was um a very good friend he was married to one of my good friends who she was of a distance but um as before he passed or right after he passed he like I got a message from him uh -huh. that he came and um, it was just, it kind of freaked me out because all it was was a thought and then I seen where um, somebody had listed on the Facebook that um, he had passed. And there was a celebration of his life, and it's just like, oh, my gosh. Well, isn't it, you know, Donna, uh, we all have the ability to do this. We just block ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And so good for you. And you were probably a vibrationally open for Pat to come and give that message. And I'm glad he came tonight and confirmed that for you and tell his wife that he did that and that he's doing just fine, okay? Okay. All right, Miss Donna, um, you feel like an awesome person to me. You have a problem with your lower back or your hip or your bladder or what, girl? You know, um, I, I'm not quite sure. I don't really have any health problems, but I've been having all these weird aches and lately. I think it's the stress I'm under, really, to tell you the truth. And um, I've been trying to drink more water. I don't really have any it's weird it just comes and goes and it's, it'll come for like a day and then it's gone and i don't see it again or you know what i mean um, yeah it's like different so it's almost like i'm taking on somebody else's um stuff well you are and, empathic um, and you could be pulling somebody else's stuff but you know what i found since i turned 60 i'm 64 now is that I get random aches and pains in my body like when i was a child and you know our parents used to say it was growing pains Right. I think I, you know, that after 60, we get some of that. And it's just that that's still growing pains, but we're shrinking <laughs> instead of growing and getting ready for, <laughs> you know, what the next phase of our life is. And so uh, anyways, Donna, you're awesome. And, and I'm glad that your friend came in and gave his name. And I think your grandparents, uh, your, your grandfather is uh, hilarious. And I think Josh is going to pull himself out of it. But I would suggest, you know, that maybe he... Uh, go get some counseling, okay, girlfriend? Okay, well, he's got he's got himself into a little bit of a jam, so I'm hoping... Is that why I see a policeman in his energy field, darling? Yeah. Okay. I didn't, want, I didn't want to kind of throw that out at you right here on the Facebook, but I'm going to say it. I see a policeman in his energy field, okay? Yeah, and um, I'm just hoping for the best. I'm writing the judge, and oh, gosh. I mean, he's, he's thousand, 3,000 miles away from me, so it's very hard for me. I'm sure it's very hard for you. Um, 
I do feel that this is a blessing in disguise, a hard blessing in disguise, but that Josh will pull out of it. That's what I've been trying to say. He'll be all right. Okay. Do you do you think that he's going to have to stay in jail? I mean, you think it's going to happen like that? I think there is going to be some time spent, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. sweetie. Prepare for that, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. all right. You take care of yourself, Donna. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank My you. pleasure. Okay, everybody, we're having a great night, but our Mevo camera did not work, so we are on my phone life on Facebook. The phone number here is 602-875-0444. I want you to remember that I have somebody else monitoring the Facebook from Sedona, our marketing people, and so if you're writing to me, we don't get that. Um, and I just want you to give it a call and try to get through. We do realize that it's hard to get through, but we want you to realize that we are not a regular radio studio. We do this from the, um, we do this from the, the, uh, the comfort of our home. We have a studio here and we do this out of the goodness of our hearts. Um, so be patient as you are um, trying to get through because we really want to answer all your questions. We hey, have a um, bunch of new listeners. You might want to give that number out. Uh, 602-875-0444 is the number. And I just want to go over again um, what I got in the beginning, um, although I just uh, got a couple of more names. Uh, this is when I meditate for those of you who are new. I meditate before we get started, just like I got the last caller's name in a meditation before we get started because I get spirit talking to me before we get started. And it's Bruce and Albert and Chloe and Franny or Fanny and Tennessee and Train and Mule and Kyle, Kylie or Kelly and Princeton and Hawaii and something about a neighbor, a Carol, a Diane, a Tammy, a Lee or a Lisa, an Agnes, a Carl, a Todd, a Harold or a Harry. I hope Agnes isn't former, my former mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mick, go ahead. Send something over. Or it could be Agnes Moorhead. Uh, yeah, maybe. Good evening. This is Melinda. How can I help you? Hi, Melinda. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you for me. Who's calling? Yes, my name is Tina, and uh, I have a question about um, uh, legal problem on like my job. Okay. And uh, I would like to get an advice for that, and you know, for, for just for like, uh, I don't have anybody, and I'm just wondering if that's related for my for my uh, issue for the work that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are you calling me from the East Coast? Where are you calling me from? Yes, ma'am, Virginia. Okay, you're calling me from Virginia. Okay, and honey, I'm a little bit hard of hearing. I'm going to Costco on Friday to get ready for hearing aids. So please give me your name again. Yes, my name is Tina. Tina, thank you, sweet girl. Okay, Tina. and what's Tina. your what's your Tina birthday? With Tina, T. with a T. And what's your birthday? Three, three, twenty-six, six, six. Okay. Um, you know what? The first thing that I get, Tina, is that you're always really hard on yourself and your vibrational frequency is one of feeling um, like you are always stuck. Does that make sense to you? Always, yes. Yeah, and I think in certain ways, darling, you, you sabotage your own self and get in your own way. Does that make sense to you? Like, I mean energetically about that, Tina. I mean energetically, honey. I don't mean that, that you do that on purpose. I don't mean anything like that. I just, it just feels like you, you, you're, you're, you're um, unhappy and, and it keeps perpetuating and unhappiness keeps perpetuating. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm a, kind of like unhappy because I'm, I've been divorced like like 10 years now, over 10 years, and I don't have anybody. And everybody say I'm pretty beautiful. I'm, I'm sure you are very beautiful, honey. Your vibration is that of someone who's very but beautiful. I don't have anybody. Well, but that, but that doesn't mean that that won't come in the future, right? 
That doesn't mean that won't yeah. come in the future, okay? How old are you? I'm 52. 52. Well, you know what, honey? I met the love of my life when I was 60 and married him when I was 63. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it doesn't mean that somebody isn't coming, okay? That's not what it means. And I don't want you to, to kind of shut that piece of yourself down. But I think you have shut that down energetically. And I think you have to make some movement on that and kind of put that out of the way. I also think you have abandonment issues with father and mother. Um, sorry, what did you say? Sorry? Uh, it feels like maybe you've had, uh, when you were, had some trouble growing up. Uh, probably. That's somebody that said that it's kind of like that somebody gave us a, cur a curse. Uh-huh. I'm not sure exactly if that's going to be affecting me or like the whole family. Okay. So, you know, um, you can lift that curse by moving your vibrational frequency. Were you raised Catholic? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's Baptist, like Protestant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because, you know, uh, I, I think you, you uh, uh, in the Catholic religion, to, to pull the Virgin Mary in for an intercession is perfectly acceptable when you feel like you've had a negative energy thrown at you. But I do see movement for you. It comes in 2019. I think that you have to put some energy out there towards a new job. I think you have to move your vibration just a little bit. And I think, honestly, sweetheart, if you give yourself just a little bit of that prayer time and that movement of energy and meditate every day that you'll move the energy for yourself like prior prior you say yes so right now uh, for it now i have some issue at work and uh, i have the course date is gonna be in september and i'm kind of like a worry what's gonna happen mm -hmm. because right now i don't work i'm looking for a job mm -hmm. um I, so you're going to be looking for a job in september no, I'm, I'm looking right now. Oh, well, you're looking I, right I now. I have a court date. Okay. I have a court date for my, um, She's saying like, I can't uh, understand her work. Court date. I mean, for my work. Okay. I'm be in September. But I'm kind of like a worry because I didn't do it on purpose. And the, uh, I got fired. Uh-huh. And now, uh, I mean, and now I just go to the court for, for that. Okay. Well, first of all, I think there's job movement for you, okay? And I think you need to still put that out there. I actually see something with a job coming in the next couple of months, although it may change one more time before the beginning of the year. And I think you'll get some satisfaction in court. Um, I don't think you'll get total satisfaction, but I think you'll get some satisfaction. So I would say to you, sweetheart, to just hang in there, okay? Okay, do you think you'll go to the jail or? No, I don't like, think you'll go to the jail. I mean, like a community uh, service or like a fine? Bill. Uh, no, I don't think you'll go to the jail. Um, I don't think that you'll have any time. I think you'll get some satisfaction, but not all satisfaction. So I think there'll some, be some repercussions, but that's not what it will be. Okay, sweetheart? Okay. All, all right. right. Thank, all right thank, thank you for calling, sweetheart. Have a good thank night. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep, you're Thank welcome. Bye-bye. You. Okay, we'll take our next caller. So, you know, we have some things coming up. I've still got a few tickets left for Dr. Emil coming up. We get on the website. But then I also have a wonderful uh, seminar coming up with my daughter on toxic relationships. Hi, this is Melinda. How can I help you? Can I connect with my significant mother? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you now. Um, uh, stay, get away from your computer a little bit, okay? Yes, let me do that. Okay. That, that way you won't come across muffled to me, okay? How about now, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How can I help you, sweetheart? Um, trying to connect, reconnect with my significant other. We passed away recently. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Um, what is your significant other's name, please? Brian. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Brian. Brian, thank you, darling. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look and see how we connect with Brian. Do we know who Kathy is? 
Yes, that's actually me. You're <laughs> Kathy. Okay, well then Brian just gave me your name, Kathy, okay? Okay, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you have already made a connection like without me, like there's been a connection that you have already made. Um, like he's already come to you. Do you know that, sweetheart? Like you, have you had a dream? Has he already come to you? Not that I know of. Okay, he's trying. What does the number two mean around it, sweetheart? Uh, does it have any meaning to me? Uh, how long ago did uh, he pass over? Eight months. Okay. And had he, um, had there been something with uh, two around you and he, like uh, two times you were together or two? He's saying to me two, two, two. Two years we've been together? Yes. Were you together for two, two years? years? Were you together for two years, yes. Kathy? Okay, that's why he's telling me the two, sweetheart. Very good. Okay, he's describing to me your relationship so that you know it's him talking. That's all, darling, okay? All right? And um, okay. do, you, do you know who Mark is, Kathy? Mark. Mm -hmm. My past client. Your past client. And why is Mark. your... Why is your significant other telling me about your past client? Is it something that you're wrestling with in your brain right now? No. He shouldn't know about Mark. He should not know about Mark? Yes, we never talked about my business. Okay. Um, is it something that you've been talking about since he's been on the other side and he's overhearing you? Because he clearly told me Mark. And since you had a client named Mark, he's telling me something about that, sweetheart. Uh, was it something that you've talked no. to somebody about, or is it something that's been weighing on your mind? No, but he did pass away, I think, four years ago of the jury excuses. He passed away also? Yes. Okay. Of the Ah, uh, uh, oh, that's a terrible way to pass, isn't it, Kath? Yeah, so what that means, honey, is that I'm using you to get up to Brian. I'm just picking that up out of your frequency of energy. Okay, honey? Okay, and that's why I heard it. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Um, and and uh, there's something about um, uh, giving you feathers and coming to you on little wings and hummingbirds and birds. Um, do you know that you're, I feel like calling him your husband. I know he's not your husband, but he almost feels like you've been married in a past life and that he was husband to you. Does that make sense? Mm, he does call me his wife. Did he? Okay. Well, I feel like calling him your, your husband, too. So he must have that energy for you because that's how I feel like I'm connecting to him, too, Kath. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay. So, Kathy, uh, do, are you getting, uh, are you finding feathers and stuff around, honey? No, but I do have woodpeckers in the morning. <laughs> well, um. well, I hope he's not driving you crazy, girlfriend. <laughs> But he is showing me birds, and I do think there'll be uh, feathers coming. And there's something with a sister, sister, something with a sister. His sister? Yes. Yeah, so you, are you still in touch with his sister? She lives two doors down. Ah, okay. So, oh, that's why when I first got my meditation, sweetheart, I got the word neighbor. Right here, I'm going to show it to you on the camera, so when you look at it, that's why he gave me neighbor. What's your sister-in-law? Well... His sister's name? Carrie. Okay, so he, he likes that you and Carrie are so close, Kathy. Um, Kathy, mm -hmm. you're, you're a very interesting person. You're um, soft and hard at the same time. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, and the strength that you've shown is amazing, sweetheart. But I think you got to let yourself be a little bit vulnerable here and there, too. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. Was there a special song mm -hmm. or something with music uh, that that you and Brian shared? He's, he's showing me something with music. Or was music something that you shared together? I was music, music I heard in cars that we made fun of. Okay. That was played over and over. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, sweetheart. So he's just giving me some stuff with you. What? How old are you, Kath? 31. Oh, baby, you're so young. You're so young. Yes. Um, um, so, I mean, cheapers, that's, that's hard, honey. Um, who smokes mm -hmm. a lot of mm, pot around you? Excuse me? Who smokes a lot of pot? 
that would be his sister or something. Ah, because he's having me smell marijuana. You know, I, I, I'm a, a child of the 60s. I know what pot smells like, right? <laughs> ah, so do you must spend time with his sister or husband or there's something, some kind of a connection there, right, Kathy? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. And who is Daniel or Danielle or Danny? That doesn't connection, that name. Okay, that means it's just coming up for you in the future. You can't put your finger on it, okay, Kath? Where are you calling me from, sweet girl? Arizona. Oh, you're in Arizona, okay. Where in Arizona are you, honey? I'm sorry? Scottsdale. Oh, you're in Scottsdale. All right, you're my neighbor too, girl. I'm in Temp I'm in I'm I'm in Tempe. Yeah. Okay. Kathy, um I'm really sorry that you lost your partner. He feels like he's your husband. That's what he says to me. And he wants you to give the message to his sister um that he um tapped in told me that about her and that, that he's around the mother smoking pot and i don't think he means the woodpecker but i think that's hilarious that you said it but i think he's trying to reach you right now honey and give yourself some some ability to make that connection because he will reach reach out and you will be able to to connect with him i think he'll start with a dream uh, there's something about his cell phone do you know anything about his cell phone is he saying something about his cell phone do you have his cell phone no we returned his cell phone Returned it to, to the company? Yes, to the company. Was there something on it? Were you like his screensaver? Was there something special about his cell phone, girlfriend? Not that I know of. Okay, he's saying something about a cell phone. Uh, so I don't know, maybe your cell phone is gonna ring and there'll be nobody on it and that's his message to you, okay? So I want you to watch for that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank why you. is there why is there a dollar sign around you, Kath? Do you work with money, or did he work with money, or? No, I work from home. Does that make a difference? Um, I wish I I wish you were saying that you were working, getting lots of money, but um, no. I think it's either somebody that works in the banking industry, or somebody works with investments, or there's something with a dollar sign or, or around you. Um, and if you don't know who that is right now, that's okay, too. It just means it's coming up, honey. Or maybe his sister will know, okay? Okay. 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 And do you know um, what, uh, why you, Brian had issues with his dad? Uh, his dad became an alcoholic and slowly split away from him. Yeah, it was a hard karma for him, you know, Kath? It was. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, there's something about uh, something Asian. What's the Asian energy? Do you know, girl? Um, I'm of Asian ethnicity. Ah, he's just showing me your pretty little face then, girlfriend. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, he, he's just showing me all about you. So there's something with a dollar sign or somebody in that business that's coming up for you, girlfriend. And I want you to watch for the Daniel or the Danielle. And he loves you very much. And I'm sorry this happened to you, Kath. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. You have a wonderful evening, girl. Okay. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Well, that was fun. You know, that was all good. So we're doing good. I'm going to go over this again at 602-875-0444. I'm looking over at the computer and I saw a frowny face go up. And so no frowny faces. I do this just as a gift. So you don't need to frowny face at me. <laughs> if you can't get in, we're sorry. 875-0444 with a 602 area code. We do the best we can to stay on for as long as we can and to answer as many phone calls as we can. I am going to be in, uh, where am I going to be? I'm going to be in Sherman Oaks uh, in California. And that is going to be on September 27th and 29th. I will be September 8th at Storm Wisdom with Dr. Emil Faith, which is awesome. On October 6th, my daughter, who is an MSW, Master's in Social Work, and I will be doing a day seminar on toxic relationships. On October 10th and 11th, I will be in Houston at the Unity Church. And October 14th, I will be in Austin, but I am sorry, I'm all sold out there. On October 15th and 16th, I will be in Dallas, and that will also be at the Unity Church. On October 20th and 21st, I will be in Sedona. That'll also be, I believe, sold out. 
And then we move into next year, January, Sherman Oaks, February, New Mexico, uh, March, New York, April, North Dakota, and so on. So please keep up with me on my website, okay? All right, so um, let's go to the next caller, please, and see what some of this uh, other stuff is as we move forward. I want to find out about the mule. <laughs> Hi, this is Melinda. How can I help you? Hi, Melinda. This is Helen from New Jersey. Hi, how are you? Give me your first name again. Uh, Helen. Hi, Helen. How are you, darling? I'm good. Thank you so much for taking my call. It is absolutely my, fa my pleasure to take your call. I love people from New Jersey. I lived in New Jersey. My uh, son was born in 1973 in Philadelphia, and we lived right across the Walt Whitman Bridge. Oh, and we lived at Black Horse Pike in that part of New Jersey, if you're familiar, yeah. near Cherry Hill. You know? You know where I was? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. So uh, you have this most vibrant and delicious energy, Helen. Um, I think that you're the mother of the world. I think that people turn to you, that you give advice, that you mother, that you love, that you that you are the mother of the world. Does that make sense to you, darling? Absolutely. Yeah, you're just like, I, you know, you're the kind of person that just is warm and, you know, you're the kind of neighbor that if somebody needs something, they can run across the street and get it. You're an old-fashioned kind of girl. I am definitely yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's your birth date? Uh, 12, 14, uh, 62. 62, okay, 10, 18, 19, 23, 25, 27. Okay, well, that's because you're a soul number nine, and nines are the old souls of the world, my friend. Um, and they are, the only thing with a karma for a soul number nine is they have difficulty letting go of people, places, and things. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah. Jack? Jack or Jackie or Jacqueline or Jackson or Jackie? Um, I have a grandfather, uh, Jack. You have a grandpa, Jack. He says, hello. Hello to you, Grandpa Jack says. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Your grandpa says, hello. He's, you know, he's kind of a character. Who is it that smoked a pipe or cigars? It wasn't cigarettes. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, what's the Florida energy, Helen? The what? The Florida energy. Florida. Um, no, not really much. Um, I mean, we visited down there quite, quite a lot, uh, my family and I. So. Ah, oh, very uh, nice. Then my, some... mom, my mom always wanted to move there, but she passed away and never got a chance. No. Your your mom wanted to move there and she passed away before she got a chance. Is that what you just said to me, my friend? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know, um yeah. she is um <laughs> Oh my gosh, Helen, you won't believe what she just said to me. She said, never mind, honey, I'm living the dream in heaven. <laughs> She's hilarious, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she says, never mind, I'm living the dream in heaven. Um, what's her name? Um, Margaret or Peggy? Um, Peggy is hilarious. Um, uh, there's something yeah. about something with walking. Um, can you tell me um, oh. what, what she says? She says, I'm walking, I'm walking. Yeah. Do you she know? had her leg amputated. Before she passed away. Oh, she had something amputated before she passed away. Well, she's so happy because she's singing it to me. She's saying, I'm walking, I'm walking. Yeah. And I think that's hilarious that she sings that to me for you. So no wonder oh. she feels like she's living the dream in heaven rather than Florida. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is a Bernie or Bernard or Bernice or Bernadette or Bernie? Don't have a Bernie, nothing like it's a, that. It's, oh. it's Margaret that's saying it. Was there somebody with the last name of Burns or Bernstein or something, my friend? No. 
Okay, so, you, you think about it because your mom has been very clear. Know. You know, she's been very clear. Like, I love that she's, you know, talking about walking and that kind of thing. So I think it's their energy, hers and daddy's, and not your energy. But you'll, 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 you'll understand, you know. I mean, you'll get it because, yeah. you know, a lot of times people come. Yeah. But now is Jack, the, the guy that gave me his name first, is that Margaret's father? No, that's actually my dad's side. That's on your dad's side. Okay. And what's your dad's name, Ralph. hon? Ralph. Okay. Kevin. Okay. Kevin. What is it? Kevin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did uh, Ralph have cancer? So there's, so he, um, there is no uh, Ralph. My dad's name is Ken. Ken, did Ken have cancer? We don't really know. He okay. Just passed, he passed away just a little over a month ago. I mean, we really don't know what happened. Okay, all right, Ken. I'm sorry, I don't know where I heard Ralph some. I think I heard it in my head from somebody else that's trying to get into their loved ones. I apologize. You know, I hear from you and I hear in my head from the other side too, so it kind of mixes yeah. my brain up. But I gotta tell you something really cool. Uh, my grandfather's name was Ken. And my mother's middle name was Margaret. Uh, so we have that in common. Um, I, I feel like maybe Ken had something like um, in his lower body that, you know, was, I think he left through his chest, but I think he was avoiding having to have um, a, a another issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he left on time before he suffered with something. I don't know how else to explain that to you. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. I see Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, I was just wondering how he's doing over there. Um, well, <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 okay. Now your mother. I'm sorry, honey, but your mother is really pushing up ahead of the I line. Know. I mean, she's I just know. she's pushing ahead of the line, um, and she's telling me he's doing just fine. That she came and got him, and he's doing just fine, and she was happy that she got him, and he's doing just fine. And she's talking really fast. But she's saying something yeah. about a doctor or a doctor's last name, and I think she's trying to give you what that Berner or Bernie or Bernice or Bernard is, so look at that. And then there's something about a brother. Yeah. Take a deep breath. What about brother, honey? Well, I, um, I have two brothers. One has passed, and um, I have one with me and um he's taking the death of my dad very very bad okay and i'm really worried okay so you know he can watch this tomorrow on my facebook to know like mm -hmm. how your mother just came right in charge on this okay what is your brother's name the one that's here uh john and what is the name of the brother that's on the other side michael and who had the accident? Michael. Okay. So, and do you know who Joseph is? Joe? Um, Joe? No, not really. No, I'm a little bit. Uncle Joe. And so whose brother is he? Oh, no, he, he would have been Jack's brother. Okay. All right. So I'm just getting some of your family members. No worries. And I'm getting that Michael had the accident. No worries. But I don't think that's the Joe. Um, I think maybe you should ask John who Joe is. But tell John that dad is doing fine and that he left the way he left to prevent himself from suffering with something else. Okay. All right. And there's something with a fish. F-I-S-H fish. Yes. Who fishes? Um, well, I think it's actually their pond. They have fish in it. Very nice. So they're showing me fish. So they're just showing me stuff I wouldn't know for you, girlfriend, okay? And I think that's important for John. How old is John? Uh, John is uh, 42. Okay, so he's young, young, young. Yeah. Yeah. And so I have kids, yeah. I have kids John's age, okay? And I get that when you lose your second parent that it's really hard you kind of feel orphaned even if you're married and have kids of your yeah. own you know it's just the way it goes yeah. so um tell yeah. john that your your dad is doing fine um there's they're showing me a baseball cap 
baseball cap, yeah. Who wore, who wore the baseball cap all the time? My dad, my dad. Okay. Had a baseball cap on. All right, you gotta tell John that dad is trying. He to tell him he's fine. He showed me the baseball cap. He said he's with the brother. He told me Michael had the accident, and that mom's like, whoa, she's like happy as a lark. I'm sorry, you know, she, she's like happy as a lark. So, but please give, give, you know, my my deepest sympathy to both you and John. But I think you know that dad is just just really really good. Okay. All right. Now, who has the daughter? Um, my brother has a daughter. Okay. Skyla. Okay. What's her name? A Skyla. And uh, and your your father really loved that child, yeah. 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 So tell your brother that now she's got the greatest guardian angels in the world, and your mother just said, and one that can walk now. <laughs> <laughs> your mother is just cracking me up okay she's just cracking me up uh were your, yeah. your your mom wasn't that old when she crossed over was she girl no no she wasn't yeah um, she was like in her late 60s yeah she, she wasn't that much older than me um she's a really really hilarious okay. she's also telling me to tell you that her eyes are great <laughs> she can walk she can see she can do all kinds of things she couldn't do here on the planet okay girl Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, honey. Thank so you so much, you're Melinda. you're so welcome. You have a wonderful night. Let John take a look at this so he knows they're fine. Okay. I I definitely will. Thank okay. you again. You're so welcome. Have a good night. All right. Well, we're having a good time tonight, and so let's go to our next reading because uh, I think I've been on for just about an hour or so, right and so I'm going to do mm -hmm. one or two more, and then we'll be done for the night, okay? I got a little emotional with that first reading, and, it, and I've had all kinds of commotion here in the studio. They're trying to see how well I can concentrate my men. <clears throat> okay, Mick, we'll take another caller. Hello, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Oh, what a lovely little voice you have, my friend. Are you a little person? Five, no. five foot, five foot four, five foot five. Uh, five one. Oh, well, you are a little person, girl. Okay. Okay. You're a little or that. I'm five foot two, and I'm a little person. But you know, I've never been overweight. I've just been under tall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you call about a daughter? No. Do you have a daughter? I do. Are you worried about your daughter? Not not about anything specific. I mean, I worry about all my kids. Okay. So all right. I don't know why, but daughter just came flooding into my brain, my friend. And what's your first name, oh, well, please? Well, maybe because she's out of town. Oh, probably so. so. What's your first name, my friend? Janice. Janice. Janice is five foot one. Everybody knows that and has a daughter now. Okay. And what's your question, yes. Janice? Uh, well, I just feel like I'm all over the place. I've talked to you before uh, about my job situation and everything. And uh, I'm just really, you know, struggling to stay, to have patience, to, to wait it out. Uh, and, and kind of like I said, all over the place with that. I'm struggling with the relationship with my son. So those are my two biggest things. Okay, darling. What's your son's name? Uh, the one I'm really struggling with. His name is Zach. Zach. And what are your other children's names, please? Uh, my daughter's name is Brittany. And then there's Zachary, and okay. Dakota, and Emery. Um, I, first and foremost, I want to kiss uh, Dakota on top of the head. Why? Uh, I don't know. Is he like a sweet pea? No, I usually want to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Zach you wanted to slap, girl. Uh, no, no, no. He's the one that my heart is dying over. Okay. Um, I, I feel like kissing one of your sons on top of the head because it, that feels like they need reassurance or there's uh, feelings of insecurity or like not uh, knowing direction. Is that Zach or is that Dakota? 
you know, it could probably be both of them. Yeah. And I, and I think that they try to always put the macho foot forward, if that makes sense to you. But, yeah. you know, they're just yeah. really vulnerable little boys in certain ways at this stage of life, okay? Um, right. Yeah. And um, who is the one that is having some drug, alcohol, or um, addiction issues? Uh, I'm going to say Zach. I mean, Dakota does, you know, things. But Zach is the alcoholic. Zach's the alcoholic. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, you know, the thing about an alcoholic, my friend, is with out of bottom being hit, there's not much you can do other than kiss them on the head. Um, he's got to want to take care of what he needs to take care of on his own. And it just doesn't feel to me, Janice, like Zach is ready to do that yet. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He is, he's getting ready to turn 26. What happened when he was 22? Uh, I, that's about the time his dad and I divorced. Okay. So, uh, you know, going back to 22, that's where the trauma begins for him, where he had a lot of his own issues and feel, uh, and 13, age 13, but 22 is where I feel Zach has started some of that, um, ongoing issue with himself. Okay. And again, mm -hmm. I, I'm unsure that you can do anything but pray and try to, uh, do uh, what you can do, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you're a very nice lady um, who um, blames herself for a lot of things, and you've got to just yes. step out of that a little bit so that you're not mutual victims with each other. Does that make sense to you, my friend? It does. Okay. Yeah. Because I think your victimization in certain ways, and I'm not saying that in any way, shape, or form to be rude or to be... Uh, inappropriate but I think that's what's getting in your way from being stuck and you have to detach from Zach there is a wonderful book by Deepak Chopra called the seven spiritual laws of success and one of those spiritual laws is the less the law of detachment which is one of the hardest laws for us to do because we love our children but we also have to allow our children to make and take their own journey in life and try to just stand by them and let that be what it is without trying to fix it. So some of that's present there, Janice. Um, for some reason okay. you feel guilty about divorcing um, their dad and I think you were with him for a whole lot longer than you should have been because I think he's kind of a son of a bitch, isn't he? Well, we were together for 30 years uh, and I'm gonna be honest, I, I had an affair. Oh, so you were the son of a uh, bitch, okay. All right, okay. I, I was the son of a okay, bitch that started it okay. and he ended up being second, so okay. All right. <laughs> we were both, we were both really nice. Okay, up. so listen to me, you know, an affair is not the cause of a marriage ending, okay? And a, an affair is the result of an unhappy marriage. And so yes. nobody has an affair unless they're unhappy in their marriage already. And sometimes that's a, a door opener to let you realize you're unhappy, okay? All right, yeah. so you got to yeah. get off over the, the grief of that because it came at me so strong, like it was so strong that I thought he had done something inappropriate to you, but you hold it so much in your vibration, and it was really you, and it's so much guilt, and you got to let that go. Does that make sense, Jen? Okay. Okay. It does. All right. It does. Yeah. All right. And so that being said, let's let that go. Let's let X go. Let's let Zach figure it out, and let's focus on you and maybe... Um, it will be easier for you to kind of hang in there to make it through till you find another job or to try to figure out what you want to do next, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Who is... Um, well, thank you so much. Well, uh -huh. you know, oh, don't leave me because I know I've been mean to you tonight okay. and I don't... I, and I'm not... No, trying, you I'm not trying to, Janice. I really... You know, it, I'm from New York, so sometimes my mouth gets ahead of me and it comes, spills out in a way. I'm really not trying to be rude. I'm trying to be kind and tell you what's getting into your way. That's all I'm trying to do. You understand well, that, Well, and right? you're saying things that I know. Okay. So. All right. So, lastly, um, is, are you seeing a man now? <laughs> I am. Yes. Okay. And that's We've discussed him before. <laughs> okay. And, and, okay. So there's that. Okay. And you're looking towards the end of this year, beginning of next, to do some things with job? Well, you know, and, and I'm just praying that it comes sooner because I just don't know that 
you know, I can I can stay put for that much longer. Then do what you have to do, girl. Okay, okay. but if you move out of victim okay. and you move out of guilt and you move out of blaming yourself for doing something that was not was just a result of where you were at, then that energy will shift and your vibration frequency will raise and it'll be sooner for you, okay? Okay, All okay, right. that makes sense. All I was right. always such a positive, sure myself person until then, and you know, I, I just have difficulty making decisions since then. Yeah, So I understand, I really understand. Um, if anybody's messed up in relationships, kiddo, it's been me. Get my book. But honestly, I think this is like a new, <laughs> this is a new life for you. And I just want you to hold that back into that lifting up of your energy field so that you can get what you want out of life. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks That's for calling. Like Thanks for calling, sweetheart. Right, Have a good you. night. Bye-bye. Okay, Mick, we'll take another caller now. Hello, this is Melinda. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Victoria. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, Victoria from, from New York. Where in New York are you, girl? Uh, Long Island. You're in Long Island. Okay. You know, we're going to come to New York next year. We have lots of people asking us to, so watch for that coming up, okay? Very very cool. Okay, who is cool. Michael? Michael, Michael, Michael? Um, my father's name is Michael. My father's brother named Michael. <laughs> Michael is your father and Michael is your brother. Okay, and what is your birth date? Yes. My birthday is November 25th, 95. <laughs> 1995. Gee, I can't even add up what that makes you age-wise mm. because I can't even fathom. <laughs> <laughs> My youngest child was born in 73, probably the same time as your mother or father. <laughs> but let me just do your numerology, pretty girl. Uh, 14, 24, 29, 31, 32, 33. Ah, Victoria, you're a 33, 6. That's great numerology. It's a vibrational frequency that you're supposed to be in the world of helping people. Are you? I work in the medical field. Very good. <laughs> Very good. That fits with that 33.6, and that is a good place for you to be, whether you do it that way or in some other form or fashion. Healing arts is really good for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, what is your question, my friend? <coughs> um, I was just wondering if you picked up any messages from them family members that passed or what you read from my energy, I guess. Okay, well, what I read from your energy is healing arts, and for some reason, you're attaching to your brother because I got his name first. Are you concerned about your brother? Um, so, yes, but I have a big family. I'm one of four, but I also have step-siblings, but I'm concerned about my step-sibling. He's like a substance abuse Okay, thing. what's the name, honey? His name is Dylan. You know, I suggest to anybody that's pregnant to never name your kid Dylan. I work off of name frequencies. That's really what I work off of. And honestly, Dylan, mm -hmm. the name Dylan, Dylan's do struggle. Dylan's do struggle. How old is Dylan? He is turning 20 in August. What happened when he was 15? One, five, 15. When he was 15, his parents were going to be two bad schools. Okay, that's his trauma at 15, okay, girl? Um, you're such mm -hmm. a healer, you're such an empath, you're such a giver, you're such a bright star, you're such a sweet pea that I think you take care of everybody and hold all of their energy field in there, you know, all of their energies in your field, you know? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, Definitely. so I'm not sure you can do much for Dylan other than to hold space and to listen when he wants to talk or to give him a safe place to land, okay, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Okay. And who is Anne or Angie or Angela or Annette? Anna? I have a grandmother. Grandmother's <laughs> name is Anne? Okay. And where is she on the other side, girl? Yes. Okay. So you asked if there was a message. Grandma, said, Grandma Anne is around you some, okay? Who is pregnant? 
or just had a baby? Um, I have a cousin who's like a sister. Very okay. Like okay. Very That's nice. Great. Okay. Very nice. And um, so the message is that that baby's going to be a crystal child, uh, which is a child that everybody adores, emotionally mature, spiritually mature. Um, Dylan, um, I the verdict's out for me on whether Dylan's going to get on his feet right away or not. I really don't think Dylan's going to get on his feet until he's about 26 or 27 years old. And I think that that means mm -hmm. for the next six or seven years, you all are worried about Dylan. Okay. You are okay. amazing. Um, why um, are you, you, why do you close down in your personal life for yourself? Um, I definitely close down in my personal life because I'm kind of not sure career-wise where I sit best. Like I love my job, but I'm not sure if it's meant to be, I guess. And I'm always there for others, but I guess I don't focus on myself as much. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to focus on self. You know when you're in the airplane, honey, how the... The airline, uh, what's the politically correct way, stewardess, I'm, uh, the flight attendant um, says to put the oxygen okay. mask on yourself first before you help other people. You're not putting the oxygen mask on yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be in the healing arts. That's what you're supposed to do, but maybe in a grander uh, way or a, a, a more, more. What do you do? I work in the dental field. I work at a dentist. Okay, it's like you're a dental assistant? Yeah, basically. Okay, and I feel like the maybe you um, maybe uh, uh, hmm. I, okay uh, the culture uh, of the dentist where you're at doesn't give you room to grow and expand. So uh, when you're ready mm -hmm. to make a difference, make that difference. Okay. Mm -hmm, okay. Definitely, for okay. Sure. Because it's not the culture for you, Victoria. Okay. Listen, Victoria. If if I if I uh, were a young man living in Long Island, I'd marry you myself. You've got such a lovely, lovely energy field. I want you to open up to the gifts that are you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, definitely. All right. And uh, who is Eduardo? Ed. Ed. Hmm. You know that name from very familiar okay but i can't i can't touch it yeah i've had so many people coming in and out of my life from my dad getting remarried like step grandparents you know family friends things like that yeah and oh, you ed yeah i remember ed i'm sorry i remember he ed that's was. a song i rem i was married to an ad once i remember ed <laughs> <laughs> he, used to work, he used to work for my father and he used to, um Teaching art, like ah, how to draw. Very nice. Okay. All right. So I'm just in your frequency of energy and your dad and your brother and so on, sweetheart. Would you please um, give yourself just a little bit of your own attention and let this beautiful light that you have shine for yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Oh, all right, Thank sweetheart. You Thank you for calling, darling. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. bye. Alrighty, we're going to take one more and then we're going to call it a night because we are 10 minutes to the hour and a half from what I have on my clock here, even though we did start five minutes late. We'll take the next caller, please. Elliot, how you holding up? Do you want to come say hello over here? Everybody, I want you to see who my beautiful grandson is. This is Elliot Chavez and he is spending the night with us tonight. And his grandma, uh, Trevino, went to heaven yesterday, so he's spending the night with us so that his family can take care of some things, and we're so happy to have him here. Okay. Hi, this is Melinda. How can I help you? Hi, Melinda. This is Cece. Hi, Cece. How are you, girlfriend? Pretty good. How about yourself? Hey, listen, I am better than a sharp stick in the eye, so how can I help you tonight? <laughs> well, I was calling to see if you have any messages for me. Um, Who is it that you want to connect to, sweetheart? Well, I actually had like three people that passed. Let me, uh, let, me, so. let me have their names, and then we'll see if we can move them to the front of the line here, okay? What's their names, please, well, sweetie? Well, it's my mom, my dad, and my sister. 
Wow, Cece, so see, I'm very sorry that you had such great loss, okay? All right? Yeah. Um, who is the one that had something with their heart or their chest, their lungs, or something with their heart? Mm, my sister had lung cancer. Okay, so that's your sister. Let's start with her then, Cece, because that's the first okay. person that I connect to, somebody that's going like this to me. What is her name, please? Her name's Susie. Okay, good. Now I just want you to know that back here when I was talking to somebody else, she came through and I jotted her name down, babe, okay? So she's right. been waiting, here it is right here. I'm gonna show it to the camera. Susan, and when I heard Susie, I wrote Susan, so there it is. So I didn't mention to anybody else because I knew it was somebody else. So she's the one that first steps up to the plate. What's your birth date? What's your birth date, honey? Mine is 7363. Okay. Okay. So your life karmically is all about trying to find balance because you're an 11 too. But um, I think that um, Susie is the one that spends a lot of time in your energy field um, giving you the, the uh, oh, I, how do I say this? Um, she's the one that you feel around you, okay? She's the one that you feel around you, all right? Uh -huh. um, and they they kind of greeted each other. They kind of all came, kind of pulled each other over, okay? And so there was um, a great, um, how do I say this, a celebration when they all came together, okay? All right, now what's, right. Your, what's your mom's name, honey? My mom's name is Irma. Irma, and daddy, please. Uh, his name is Ray. Ray. Ramon. Okay. And um, who was it, Ray, or was it Irma that had something with um, their, um, I don't know, the, um, hips or lower body or colon or bladder or something there? Which one of them was that, sweetheart? Mm, my dad. My dad had problems uh, walking. Okay. So, and it was his hips and his, like, lower back okay all right and then and then there's an l an a l l um the name l yes ma'am that's susie's ex-husband that's susie's ex-husband okay so susie's honestly the one that stepped up to the plate first and is the one talking even though i saw that ray had the stuff in his you know energy field okay yeah, um that's also her son's name, too. Susie. Al, okay, all right, good. Susie, yay, Susie, okay. So um, Susie uh, wants Al, her son, to know that she's doing fine, and um, I think she really, uh, um, it was a big, str uh, she was relieved. I don't know how else to say that to you because lung cancer is not a pretty way to go, and she was relieved when she left no. the planet, okay? All right, and yeah. then there's a Maria, a Mary, a Marie, uh, Mary, my ex-mother-in-law. Ex-mother-in-law, okay. And is your name Cecilia? Yes. Cecilia, because I heard your sister singing, Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> okay, and so I think you probably got teased with that a bit when you were young, you know? Anyway, uh, yes, she, I did. yeah, yeah, I think you got teased because she's teasing a little bit. Um, and she, she says that um, you, you make a connection with Al sometimes, don't you, sweetheart? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah, and she wants you to know that um, she appreciates that. She wants you to know she appreciates that. She says mom and dad are fine. Um, that um, dad's, dad, uh, did dad ever wear a cowboy hat? Um, he actually, well, it wasn't a cowboy hat. It was a hat, but uh, like a straw hat. Yeah, thank you, because I knew it wasn't like a baseball hat, because I'm seeing it like that, you know what I mean? So, okay, yeah. so he did wear a hat like that. Okay, so he um, he's happy that he's walking. He also wears boots, and so um, he's happy that he's walking. And your mother, uh -huh. your mother has a house coat on. Hi. <laughs> I never saw her in a house coat. Okay, it's kind of like one of those, That's you know, comfortable, one. like, I don't know, moo moo things that she has on. I don't know. Oh, okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. You, yeah. Does that, does, you know what, you know what I mean now? Okay. All right. You know, difference in where we're from, like I'm from New York, so house coat means moo moo to us. Okay. So, um, oh, okay. yeah. So, uh, Bonnie, Bonnie or Connie? Bonnie, Bonnie, Connie, Bonnie, Connie. Bonnie. Who's Connie, sweetheart? 
Connie is a friend of mine that uh, lived up in Prescott. Ah, very nice. Okay, so they're talking about your friends and that kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, who's got the tattoo? Um, my husband has tattoos. Your husband is a tattooed person. Okay. Yeah. And um, what's his name? His name's Dewey. Dewey? Yeah. I'm just teasing you, honey. Dewey feels like a, 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 a good character to me, like, right? Here. Yeah, okay. And how about Anthony, Tony? Tony? Um, I don't know an Anthony. Uh, it's around your dad. Um, no. You think about it. Well, we, go ahead. Tony, I have an uncle. Okay, His very good. Tony. All right, good, good, good. All right, so we've got all that coming from you, and everybody wants you to know that you're deeply loved and your sister is safe and sound. She says give Al a hug for her, and she wants oh. you to know that she's doing fine, and so are Mom and Dad, okay? All right. Okay, Cecilia, thank you for calling tonight, darling. Have a good night. Thank you for taking my call. You're thank welcome. You, you too. Bye-bye. Okay, I just want to remind everybody and thank you all for tuning in that when we do this, we are not in a studio. We are on a phone in our home that we have a couple of lines. We do the best we can to get to as many callers as we can. And we will see you next Wednesday. Bill will be, say hi, Bill. Hi. Bill will be in Texas next week, so it'll just be McKinnon and I, or maybe Izzy and I, or someone will help me, and hopefully we'll get this Mom. damn Mevo <laughs> camera fix. So have a great night, and God bless you all. Good night.